we do a lot of exercises. Did you see the videos before this training? No. 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 Okay, so there is uh, a lot of information. All the theory of this course is collected in the videos that Tiago has recorded. And uh, I, I really, um, I would appreciate if you also listen to the theory because that that is the backbone of the training. In, in the training itself, we are mostly doing exercises and interactive discussions about the theory. So if you have time tonight, you can view for the sessions that we are doing tomorrow. To today we try to cover the five first sessions and tomorrow we try to cover the, the five following sessions. Okay, let's move on to, to our next exercise here. É, eu acho que o ideal, do, o ideal dos vídeos é ver pelo computador que ele está no Dropbox. Ah, né? É na plataforma. É. E aí todo mundo já deve estar com acesso, acho que só uma pessoa. É, só a última pessoa da CPA aqui foi. Você, ele está incluindo o Michael, mas o resto vocês. Aí eu vou estar no spam, mas vocês podem estar no ajaiopipo.com e lá e pedir um reset de senha, daí vocês vão receber um iPhone. Mas tem que ser no e-mail que vocês estão inscritas aqui. Tá? Mas aí. E aí, os vídeos eles são a parte mais teórica, tudo, a gente não vai ficar repetindo porque otimiza o tempo que a gente está aqui, mas é bom ver depois, inclusive a gente vai falar logo mais, mas tem um exercício de certificação, aí vocês podem também usar o vídeo como estudo para o exercício de certificação. So I hope now that you have, uh, um, you know a little bit more about each other than you knew before. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. You know a little bit more. Why is it so important for for people in a group who are going to produce something to know each other deeply? That is one of the agile people principles, by the way. Know people deeply. Why is it so important? para criar conexões genuínas e dessas conexões um ambiente mais seguro de experimentação né? de ter a oportunidade de errar e aprender e alcançar melhores resultados eu acho que a conexão e o ambiente seguro são os principais elementos que eu acho interessante Yeah. And you, you may have noticed also that when you start to get to know people better you start to like People. And when you like people, people, you do work, better work together and you create more value together and you collaborate in a better way when you start liking and knowing people better. So it's a win-win-win for everybody, for the person, the team and the organization. When people spend some of the time at work getting to know each other better and talking maybe a little bit about your private life as well and finding the common connections that, that you have in the group. And also understanding the deeper intrinsic needs and drives of other people. And we are working in Agile People. We have chosen to work with Reese Motivation as our preferred personality kind of test or uh, the way we show our motives and basic needs. Uh, and that's how you get under the surface, under the, the behavior and looks, you, we look at the intention of the behavior rather than the actual behavior because there can be different intentions leading to the same behavior. And obviously we are biased as people, so we always believe that the way I think is the right way, right? The way I believe and the way I act because it depends on something from me that I act in a certain way, I believe that everybody else is the same. And that's a dangerous uh, presumption because people are very different and they do things from different reasons and they have different intentions. And the intention is almost always to, uh, to, to fulfill a certain basic psychological need that we have. So that's why we need to get to know each other. If a person is 
is saying something or doing something that we believe is very strange or not familiar is probably because they have a different intention and a different motive and a different world view than what we have ourselves. Okay, so uh, we have two facilitators here today. Tiago, I think you all know Tiago. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you also know me uh, a little bit. Uh, I'm the founder of uh, Agile People, which is a global community of people who believe that there is a better way when it comes to how we run organizations, how we manage and govern organizations together. And um, I us used to call myself a hybrid between finance, IT, HR, and leadership because I've worked in all these different fields. And uh, I learned a lot working with different kinds of people and the view that they have on other people. Um, and they always think that their worldview is the right one, uh, although it's very different from other people's worldview. Um, what else could I say? I've been working with agility since 2009. I wrote my first book 2017 because I needed course material for my agile HR course, which was the first course that I created. Ran the first Agile HR course in 2011. And then uh, we continued to develop uh, more courses, more material and content for different target groups. And I also worked a lot with big Swedish companies, but mainly implementing talent management system solutions and implementing talent management processes uh, across the world. And uh, I realized quite early that we didn't, we didn't create that much value in doing that because the processes that we um, developed and configured into these huge IT platforms were not designed for human beings. They were designed uh, for uh, maybe management maybe top management to measure and to check compliance and to get reporting from the organization. It wasn't designed to help the people, mainly, the way they were working back then. So I decided then uh, in 2015 that I would stop working with implementing talent management systems and only work to, to do agile stuff and help organizations to change to a better way of governance and management and HR, uh, the way HR works. Um, I don't know if you have any questions for me, anything? I'm very open as a person. I, I mean, there is nothing you can't ask me really. <laughs> Não, na verdade, eu, 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 como eu já disse para a Pia e para o Tiago, eu tenho a referência dela de longa data, do primeiro livro que ela lançou, que tem o mesmo nome, né? E, e eu queria saber se ela tem compreensão da importância do trabalho dela com o lançamento desses, desse livro, dos livros também de ilustração que acompanham também, da, 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 da da importância do assunto que ainda é contemporâneo, mas que a gente precisa de informações que vêm de fora para enriquecer o nosso entendimento, o nosso, a nossa mentalidade e, e poder aplicar isso com mais uh, mais trigo. Mm. Yeah, yes, I, I know it's very important and that's why I continue also to, to work in this space. <laughs> Because uh, I, I, I think it's a lot of common sense. It's a lot of common sense, and, but common sense is not very common, unfortunately. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, yes, uh, it, it's important, but, but I didn't realize the effect that I have on different people, right? Many people, mainly women, came to me after a class and said, hey, I, I brought your thinking, your mindset and everything to my company, but they didn't understand, so I quit my job. And I started my own company, and now I'm running Agile People in Romania, now I'm running Agile People in Slovenia, now I'm running Agile People all over the world, like Tiago also did in Brazil. 
So, uh, and that was amazing for me that people were so convinced after the training that this is the right way to work in organizations so that they actually quit their job and started their own organization to be agile people coaches around the world. And that feels so good because then I know I made a difference. I know that I affected somebody deeply and that they made the change and we are on the same journey. That's amazing. When I get this feedback, it really warms my heart. That's amazing. E eu também comecei em 2009, né? Foi uma curiosa que foi no mesmo ano que a Pia. E em 2021, o Romário, não sei quem conheceu ele, que trabalhou um tempo comigo, me falou do Picture Book. E daí eu fui atrás e eu resolvi fazer o treinamento. Foi no comecinho de 2021. E não sei se hoje você, para mim, não sei quem percebeu que eu fiquei até emocionado lá, hora que a Pia comentou que não foi esse time que ganhou, né? Talvez tenha sido esse. E aí naquela hora eu pensei, já valeu a pena estar aqui. Né? Eu já sei por que, que eu trouxe esse treinamento, porque que eu resolvi fazer isso. Então foi por isso que eu decidi também trazer o Pio Ajar Vivo, traduzir tudo, porque sempre foi inspiração para mim e todo dia eu aprendo algo novo. Thank you. <risos> e sei que muitos aqui têm o Ajar Vivo o Book como livro de cabeceira, né? sempre recorrer quando elas precisam de algo. O que você acha de cada um ler a sua, o seu objetivo para fazer uma apresentação? Eu acho que sim. E eles podem fazer o exercício de compilar em... Sim. Então, pense sobre o que você escreveu nesse pequeno sheet quando você pensou sobre o seu próprio objetivo de treinamento. E depois você vai fazer o objetivo para o todo grupo based on your personal goals. So it's a bottom-up goal setting exercise. This is the way you also can work in your companies and in your teams. Bottom-up goal setting, you start from my personal goal with my job. How can I use that to achieve our team goal? And then when you have told each other about your personal goals in the group, you form a common team goal, okay? And then we make a flip chart here around that. So you can write your team goals on a post-it. We don't need your personal goals on the post-it. You just tell each other and then you discuss in the group. You find your common thing and what could be a team goal for us in the smaller groups. And then you write the team goal on a post-it note and you give it to me. We put it here. Okay? Não sei se aqui é para a gente falar, qualquer coisa você pode ir ali, vai ali, fica assim, não sei se... Não, a gente vai ver o 